problem exists because white people think they're better than black people and they want to oppress us and they want us to allow ourselves to be oppressed. This is the big, I agree with you uh, perfectly, this is the basic problem. Then what do you that want white to people uh, think they're better What's than that I can others? Do? I can't solve the problem. You guys pull the strings at closed schools. You guys draw the boundaries that keep our kids restricted to the ghetto. You guys write up the restrictive covenants that keep us out of houses. So it's up to you to talk to your brothers and your sisters and persuade them that they have a responsibility. We've assumed ours for over 400 years, and we're tired of this kind of stuff now. We're not going to suffer patiently anymore. No more turning the other cheek, no more blessing our enemies, no more praying for those who despitefully use us. We're going to show you that we've learned the lessons you've taught us. We've studied your history, and you did not take over this country by singing, We Shall Overcome. You did not gain control of the world like you have it now by dealing fairly with a man and keeping your word. You're treaty breakers, you're liars, you're thieves, you rape entire continents and races of people. Then you wonder why these very people don't have any confidence or trust in you. Your religion means nothing. Your law is a farce and we see it every day. You demonstrated it in Alabama. And I can say you because you're part of the whole system. You profit from it. In fact, you make your living from it. You couldn't walk around and talk to people, stand up in your pulpit on Sunday and preach nice little songs and say, now we're going to give thanks to the Lord for he is good and old Jesus be among us. As far as we're concerned, your Jesus is contaminated, just like everything else you've tried to force upon us is contaminated. Mm -hmm. well, so you uh, can have him, 